I'm Sam Field, and this is The Horizon. So I've always spent a lot of time travelling, both in Australia and overseas. It's been more of a part of my life rather than my practice, I suppose. I'm just really fascinated by by the country, I suppose, by the bush and different people in it and different environments and different landscapes. It's hard to describe, you know, there's, there's just an energy out there, there's, a, there's something about it that's so special and powerful. I went out there because I'm interested in kind of getting lost and interested in just sort of trying to find something but I don't know what it is that I'm trying to find. So it was more of an adventure, I suppose, for me. Um, and, and by proxy, this show came out of it because of, because of that exploration. I've had a long-held fascination with this kind of Australian colonial narrative, and not, not about it being right or wrong, but about the idea of, you know, exploration and, and frontiersmen and women and, and all. Because it's part of who we are. I'm also drawn to the romance of it, which is obviously, you know, deeply flawed on many levels, but outside of that there is this incredible romance that revolves around freedom and escape and, and being away from any kind of defined or rigid boundaries. I suppose in this show there's a lot of different types of paintings. There are straight landscapes and then there's also you know, genre painting and there's portraits and then there's, you know, some whimsical things. It's a kind of more of a nascent practice of things just evolving and me letting them, letting the paintings collect that Jungian and kind of letting the paintings come out rather than saying this is exactly what I'm going to do and this is how I'm going to do it. And yeah, I'm not afraid to take risks, I don't think. I need to keep pushing myself harder. And you get better at taking risks. I mean, a lot of it also is just about my own pursuit of painting and understanding the riddle of painting and, and trying to resolve form and colour. Because, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just as fascinated with the, you know, most basic kind of, you know, the riddle of painting and trying to solve it as I am with trying to make paintings that mean something, you know, they're one and the same to me. But I mean, that's kind of metaphorical for life, I suppose, as well, trying to, trying to work out how to get everything to fit together and work which is also a metaphor for, you know, our cultural narrative as well, I suppose, I don't know. Yeah. Painting is a powerful tool in that it can always be used as a language, whether or not people say it's, you know, in vogue or not at the moment is kind of irrelevant. It's just as useful as any other means of communication in discussing, you know, important, difficult issues. You know, I obviously think about the politics of certain subjects and having to, to represent them accordingly. So, you know, trying to, to, to think through things carefully and, and, and be as respectful as possible, but also, you know, have a bit of a dig at the same time. If I can do that, that'd be, you know, that'd be good. <laughs> um, yeah.